So when I first started to look at colleges, the first thing my dad told me was, you're welcome to come to Maryville and play here. That was all he ever said about it. He then helped me to look at everywhere I wanted to go. I was looking at a few D1 schools, trying to decide if I wanted to focus more on soccer as opposed to school. When I looked down to it, everywhere that I was uh, looking at, I was just relating it back to Maryville and how much I loved it here. We were really surprised, you know, when it came down to him making his final decision. Uh, we didn't really think Maryville was in the picture anymore. We only had it narrowed down to a couple other schools. And he said he wanted to stay here. And uh, seeing in the Maryville uniform was a really special moment. Playing for my dad, um, especially during season, it's pretty much strict player uh, coach relationship, except after games when I'm hugging my mom, he'll give me a hug as well. But it's has not has not put any sort of damage or dent into our father son relationship too. It's been it's been very special to get to have both of those relationships with my dad. I think Chris provides to our team and really in every sport that he's played is he is an unbelievable engine. He drives the team, he drives himself. One of my favorite moments was my freshman year in the conference finals. So we had gone down 1-0 and a really bad goal. And then I tied the game with one with a shot that I'll probably never hit again. And then immediately after the game, the first person I saw running on the field was my dad and I jumped up and he grabbed it. Cool and the moment was captured. It's one of the best moments that I've had here probably. I, I won't see him have a great fun senior year uh, where he plays with a, a, you know, a, a lot of freedom and no pressure on himself and, and, and I think Chris will be successful.